You've been an Umbrella Girl for about a year now. What made you want to get in this line of work? I love going out to the race. I just enjoy it. The, the people and the atmosphere. It's just a good time. I'm with LP Racing, and these are my Umbrella Girls. Last year, we had uh, some Umbrella Girl photos in our 2004 catalog, and got tremendous response. And now we have 40 girls in our catalog this year. So we're stepping it up a little bit. It's such a male-dominated sport, and, and you don't really, really don't see a lot of women out at the racetrack anyway. And, and so it's nice, I mean, at least for atmosphere, for the teams and the riders. And I think it adds, you know, a little bit of enhancement to the grid, you know, to have the umbrellas and everything else. And when men come to the racetrack, they want to take pictures of pretty women. And, and so for a marketing tool for the team, it's become a great asset. What do you think about the, uh, the girls that we have here for your viewing pleasure? Chicks are good, making me want to ride harder. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about having around. I'm going to try to impress them, do some big gnarly slides out there on the racetrack. Yeah. Make them watch me and come back afterwards and go, hey, what, what, you're Josh Hayes, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, is there a particular outfit you like the Umbrella Girls to wear? Uh, I'm kind of partial to the jumpsuits myself. <laughs> I kind of like those more than the skirts, even. What about the spandex? <laughs> it's good. I can't complain. Can we get you in a pair of spandex? I don't think I could pull it off, no. I'd, I mean, I've been told I have a girl's behind. Let me see. Let, let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Definitely firm. Cycling butt. <laughs> So how do you feel about the Umbrella Girls out, you know, out and about? Do you think that they're good for the sport? Yeah, for sure. I mean, they definitely suit a purpose. I mean, on a day like today, it's sunny, it's hot out, and, you know, as a rider, you don't want to be sitting on the grid for 10 minutes with, without any shade and just baking in your leathers and helmets. So, you know, the Umbrella Girls are there, and they pop up the umbrella, give you a little bit of shade and keep things cool. And, you know, if you got a water bottle, they hand you your water bottle. It adds a little flavor to the sport, gives people something to look at, and uh, people are always, like, looking at pretty girls. Yeah. Do you think the Umbrella Girls are a distraction while you're out on the grid, or are you so focused that it doesn't even cross your mind? No, not really. I mean, they, they seem like they've been trained really well and uh, as you know you were my umbrella girl I mean some guys are real easy and loose up on the grid and they're willing to talk to you and whatever but the girls they don't take the initiative to say oh hey blah 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 and try and start talking to you unless the rider initiates it first and then they're willing to talk to you and have a little conversation but if not if the rider's really focused they just kind of leave them and let them be. Jake I know you have to go get his leathers on he's going to win today everybody so thank you for your time. All right thanks a lot Nelly. <laughs> Strangely enough, all the guys enjoy having the girls around. But what's it like when you're the one holding the umbrella? I'm loving it. It's a lot of action, a lot of pictures. Every second, everyone wants a picture, which is awesome. It can be really tiring, especially for our feet. They hurt at the end of the day, but it's so worth it. I can't complain. <laughs> It's like playing dress-up. It's just like a, a girl's dream to me, all the, like, cute guys that race cars. I have always, always wanted to work a race <laughs> event, and then I found it on the internet, and I was like, there you are. So my, my dream came true. She hates this. Yeah, going to Daytona, <laughs> traveling. It's a hard life. It's a hard life being and then, and involved then, with Wendell. <laughs> And the class was four years, you know, where to hold the umbrella, the sun, where it is, and, you know, it's, uh, but uh, they've, they've graduated, you know, with honors. and we uh, aced it. They aced it. Aced and uh, here they are, how not to hurt someone with an umbrella. <laughs> Although they're good for self-defense if you need it. Everyone's pretty respectful, actually. No hands where they shouldn't be? No. Absolutely. Some cameras, maybe, but <laughs> we never know. <laughs> Being in a skirt, you never know how low. Yeah. That's why we have these boots on in case you know, people get out of hand. There are times when guys come off a little, you know, they like to be too strong. They like yeah. to touch things that they shouldn't touch, you know. They but get the wrong impression sometimes. Yeah. You just have to set them straight. Fans and photos aside, the real reason we're all at the track is for the racing. And probably the best part of being an umbrella girl is all the friends I've made while working on the circuit. Are you doing? Are you doing great? You've been riding. Yeah, photo. Good stuff. Been winning? Actually, I won the uh, lightweight championship in Ocala. Oh, give it up for that ride. All right. I love those guys. Right now we're doing our warm-up lap, and then we're going to grid and start the race. That's the most exciting part. I'm waiting for the race to begin. I can't wait to see the actual races start. I haven't actually been to one, so this is my first. I've heard some going around, and it's, it's quite the buzz. It's quite the noise. The vibration is, is awesome. Nothing gets more exciting than hanging out on the front row at an AMA race. Let's go see all the umbrella girls. Out on the 
not on the grid is really fun. It's lots of media and lots of press. It's just fun to be part of the excitement, and it's like, you know, everybody's really pumped up right before the race, so it's good fun. Girls doing? I'm pretty impressed so far. Seem to have strong biceps. It's pretty windy out here. They got talent. They might make it. This is the most exciting part. We're getting ready to start the race. You love the Umbrella Girls as much as the racers do, and my friends aren't too shabby too. For Madrax Motorcycle Freedom, this is Natalie Jackson. Thanks for coming along.